You're looking at thousands of Chinese EVs. They've been sitting at this dock in Belgium for more than a year. And it's not just happening here, but all over Europe. So why is China sending over more cars than the continent can handle? Here's what's going on. Thousands of unsold Chinese EVs are flooding European ports, left waiting for a buyer for as long as 18 months. Automakers in China are sending these vehicles over without a plan in place to sell them. Instead, they're using the parking lots at ports throughout Europe as storage, resulting in a logjam of cars. And the logistical bottleneck it creates makes them even harder to sell. Some European ports are now requiring importers to provide proof they have plans in place to move their vehicles elsewhere once unloaded. But the cars are still coming from China in what has been described as a frantic pace. Instead of the usual shipments that see between 1,000 to 2,000 EVs delivered, cargo boats are now dropping off up to 7,000 cars at once. It's all part of China's push to take over a quarter of EV sales in Europe by the end of this year, something European automakers have warned is a real possibility. Beijing's dominance over the EV supply chain allows them to sell their cars for thousands of dollars less than their competitors. Studies indicate that in order to stop this, European policymakers would have to adopt some of the highest vehicle tariffs in the world. For more on this EV conflict between Europe and China, download the Straight Arrow News app and be sure to turn on notifications for stories from me, Jack Almer, so you never miss an update.